we were impressed by some uh, collective efforts all arising out of community engagements. And we cite an example of the taxi enforcement team of Entebbe that impounded over 50 taxis for failing to adhere with the health SOPs. They were able to impound taxis that were carrying excess passengers, that were transporting passengers without face masks, those that didn't have sanitizers and hand washing tools, and even those that were flouting the curfew time and plying beyond uh, uh, 9 p.m. Now this is a very good initiative and uh, we want to upload them seriously and uh, as the joint task force we are calling upon all stakeholders across whether you're in construction whether in the media those that are in the arcades those that are in the border border industry those that are in woodworks garages and so on to also come up and emulate what some of these institutions are doing. So with the surge in COVID-19 cases, we are actually calling upon all stakeholders to create such uh, like anti-COVID-19 task teams. Hmm? Those in the border border industry, if they can also come up within different jurisdictions, work with the local councils and the territorial police and create a task team of uh, uh, stakeholders, that can help in the local policing and enforcement of these guidelines within different jurisdictions. That is something that we are encouraging. But again, the process should not be abused because there are those who, if you give them uh, the authority, then they will want to use it uh, as an extortion scheme. If you go into extortion, that is criminal and will attract sanctions against you.